Oh my goodness, hello everybody, this is Joshua Graf from Doppler Interactive. Uh, Ball of Woe is live, it's been released, it is on the App Store for iPad as of about an hour ago. Uh, approved as of last week, but we've been sort of getting some things together, making a promo video, you can probably see that link in the sidebar, or maybe in the description if I remember. And I'm pretty excited, so I thought, it's been a long time since I've spoken to you, and I, and I missed you, I missed you. So I thought I'd do a development style video uh, with a released build of Ball of War. So here we are on the title screen, love it, ball bouncing in time with the music, forget about it. You can actually hear that music right now. I hope it's not annoying having my voice over the music, but as if you would give up listening to me. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our tutorial level, bit of a controversial choice. Uh, we wanted a way to teach people how to play without having, you know, some sort of multi-screen click this button to do this, click this to do this. So the first play you'll go directly to this zone, the woe zone, and it will sort of let you play with no fear of failing. Uh, so hopefully people are intelligent and astute enough to realize they can just click and uh, the ball will re respond to physics. So, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a risky move, I think. I, I suspect we'll get uh, a bit of drop off after the first play because people will be confused as to what they're doing. But I mean, I think that's expected of all apps, so hopefully it's okay. Um, usually after that we'll go straight to the game, but we've finished it already, so... Uh, here's the ball selection screen. I'll take you through the balls. I'm pretty happy with the variety. That's our standard ball of woe. Ball of bones. The amazing baller. Uh, he was originally a debug ball just to test physics, but I think he's pretty charming, don't you? Uh, the ball of joy. I really like this one. I think it's just hilarious. The lunar ball. Uh, the poorly made ball, I think that's pretty funny, it pulses as you as you roll around. Uh, that's the demo ball you just saw in the tutorial. Ball of riches, I like the uh, particles. The ball of lava. The misunderstood ball, the counterpart, the flip side to the ball of joy. The H ball. The drop of water. And back to the ball of woe. So let's pick this one. And we've got puffs now. Puffs are what you saw me laying down before. They move the ball along. Uh, unexploded ordnance. Lightning bolt. Obelisk. The Glimpse of the Future, this is a vague reference to Day of the Tentacle for uh, tentacle fans out there, I love that game. The Magnet, this uh, actually pulls you toward it instead of pushing you away. The Windmill, I love this one, it's very hard to play with but quite satisfying. The Mysterious Remnant. And back to the normal Granite Rod, let's play the game. And here we are on the starting platform with the altar that you've seen so many times before. Uh, I love it. O Grand Honcho, I'm gonna read it again. You've heard it a billion times. O Kong of Worlds. Flex your mighty delts. Wrist flexors and quads. And lunge, squat, and jerk this ball of sadness out of Nice Town. I mean, I do it myself, but these lats aren't going to spread themselves. That's the deer. Let's, uh, let's liberate him. Bang. God hates stags. <laughs> a vague reference to the Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, here we are. Let's liberate us. Monk there. I am the weed. You, the gardener. You can hear that little bit of a bell tolling sound, uh, that will uh, signify that you've uh, liberated somebody. We're about midway through the story right now, it's, um, it keeps going as you as you hit the woeful, so uh, we can't pick it up from the beginning and sort of tell you the narrative, but I encourage you to play the game and hear the narrative. I'm going to hit a mailbox and hopefully, bam, controversial decision to put this in, but I like it because it gives you a chance to learn the characters' uh, personalities and also to slow the gameplay down a bit because I don't want to turn to a huge race. Panda, your disdain for democracy aside, in the last year your logic has attempted to exterminate each citizen at least once. You are no mayor from the mayor. This is about midway through a back and forth between the panda and the mayor via the mail. Uh, because the panda wants to harvest electricity from the body of the pig. He calls it Operation Haram. Um, and those informed about you will uh, know I think Haram is the opposite of Halal. I have a Persian friend who taught me that. Into the mountain path, you'll hear the soundtrack just transitions in time with the skybox. I really enjoy that. And you can hit everything. Let's let's hit a sign. It should tell us something. Only 2,150 zoom meters until you reach heaven. So it gives you sort of a, a feel of where you're up to. Ah, the glory of outsourcing insight. And we just smashed a bird nest. I like that. It's a little bit dark, but funny. Um, you can hit everything and a particle will happen, you know, with a nice sort of tangible feel. I think it's sort of like pinball is, is the design metaphor we were going for. You know, lots of lights, lots of sounds. Freedom is a horrible yoke to wear, I can tell you that from experience. Into the forests. 
I'm stuck. Here we go. I like this sort of orchestral, not more instrumental feel of, uh, of sound effects. I, I tried out a few organic sounds for hitting mushrooms and flowers and such, but I like just drums and, and stick beats and things, I think. Uh, somehow, I, I don't know, it gives it a feel, an abstract feel, kind of, um, which it needs because it's a bit surreal. Uh, I like this level. Actually, I like the next level. The next level, I think, is my favorite. We have arguments about what the best is. The Sandstone Plateau. I like this soundtrack too. It kind of reminds me of Roadrunner, you know? Uh, I think there's actually a reference to, to, to Roadrunner in, in there if you liberate a monk. Uh, everything's got random dialogue, maybe 10 or so entries for everything, and all the different balls have different endings. Um, the Woeful will tell the story, and there's a bunch of... Oh my goodness, I died! Now usually I'll click an anti-buff that you see down the bottom right there, and it will puff me back in the other direction, but I use them all. Uh, and that's the end of the game! I'm not going to play through the whole thing, because it's actually really hard. It's a very hard game. Uh, there's about 10, 11 levels, and you do finish, and you go to heaven, and you get an ending. So there's a reason to keep playing. Uh, you can tweet, you can Facebook here. There's a billion stats! Look at that! Look at all those stats you can take track of! It's amazing! Um, Actually, setting up the stats and the achievements was a, it was a huge thing, uh, but uh, I quite enjoyed that, and I love having stats like Grand Theft Auto and things like that. I'm always going through my stats, seeing what's what. Um, so we've got a every few plays you can be prompted. Maybe you want to buy some more. These are the in-app purchases because you know, gots to get paid. Um, but the best one I think is we'll have a public service announcement. So uh, from my side over here, I can put a text file on our server and if something new has come up it will tell the user so we've got a way to directly talk to people like hey we've heard your feedback we'd love to release an update we're going to do that soon or Merry Christmas everybody thanks for playing things like that uh, maybe you'd like to follow us on Facebook I could say or see our new videos on YouTube just something like that because I was thinking with these free-to-play games uh, you tend to get a lot of users but retaining them is very hard so I thought it would be really good to have a direct way to to speak to people and sort of engage with them uh, you wouldn't usually be able to get them because not everyone uses Twitter or Facebook or such, so uh, no, that was pretty good. Uh, that's really a playthrough of Ball of War. I really wanted all of you to see that um, and uh, just see what we've been doing. That's released now. I'm working on a new tool and upgrading Tidy Tile Mapper, so uh, we're pretty busy over here in the run up to Christmas. Uh, Unity 4 is released, so hopefully we're getting a, a bunch of new users with that. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah, I hope everybody over there has been having a good few months. It's been pretty quiet from us, but we've been neck deep in getting this business finished. Uh, this has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive. I hope you have enjoyed this video.